I think they told him to stop playing Chelsea's dagger. <laughs> I think it's more like Chelsea's, har Chelsea's harpoon. <laughs> Whalers down five to nothing. Cooley Region Chill power play goal. Number four, Brandon Ratzlaff. 8-10 of the third period on the assist. Number 10, Matt Yonke. And number 18, Brady Lindauer. New goaltender in now for the Wisconsin Whalers. They made the change, and the new netminder is Kai Tomita. Played at the Ontario Hockey Academy. He's from Misawa, Japan. Five and eight on the season. 5.37 goals against, 869 save percentage. He does have one shutout. Again, the goaltender change, Kai Tamita. Cooley Region show with a puck that goes off a stick of Zukowski. Tamita will play it quickly to the defense. Uh, the chill disrupting. They'll come up and send it down to Zukowski, who taps it behind the net. Akervic chasing after it. Again, it was scoreless through two periods, and the chill erupt here in the third. Have a five to nothing lead, pulling the plug on Chelsea's dagger. Here's just a Shepard creating some space. To his defensive partner, Stretch. Now here comes Schultz. Schultz with a shot. Tamita makes the save down low. They want to test him early, and Tamita makes a nice stop. Not big in stature. Says he's 5'11", 165, but does he look 5'11 to you? I don't think so. Of course, Caleb Sauer 6'1", so there's a difference there in size. Hawk in the corner. Chill gonna hold it in, lows it. Uh-oh, his pass is stolen, though. Back the other way, here comes Varga. Sends it on net, easy stop. Or Devin Nadal. Once again, Chill Fan Sports Medicine Services provided tonight by Mayo Clinic Health System, Franciscan Healthcare. Face off of the near circle, down the chill zone. Wisconsin towards the net, easy save with the glove off the stick of Logan Maki. Maki from Newberry, Michigan. He's had a little trouble with penalties in this game tonight. Well, Caleb Sauer had a strong night, but he can only take so much, and it blew up on him here in the third. Chill with the puck behind the net, that's Lozen. Now it's pinned up against the boards. Clock tick, 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 tick towards halfway through this third period. Tamita practicing his post-to-post -post moves while he waits for the puck to come his way. Now they get his chance. Chill on the attack. That cross-ice pass tipped off a stick. Now Joey Wycheck not able to pick it up. And it'll be cleared down all the way for an icing call against the Wisconsin Whalers. So the Chill will be in the attack zone here after the draw. Don't forget, fans, stick around after tonight's game. If the chill hold on for the victory, our three stars of the game will be out with your chance to grab a T-shirt thanks to B.A. Burrito. Pretty confident in that. And that'll be after the conclusion of tonight's game if the chill hold on for the win. Off the draw, nice job by Matt Yonke at the circle today, but the Whalers take it back behind their own net after the faceoff. Yonke's been involved in quite a bit here. Now here's Drews. Fondadouz. Hit the referee in the skate. Drews then leaves it back in that corner again. Off the wall, not out. Held in. McGrath rips one, redirected, and then just blocked out of the way by Tamita. Now Fondadouz couldn't quite keep that one in. Dropped it back to the defense. Clear open space now near side. And McGrath sends it in. Whalers try to give it a ride. Maki tries to get it out of the zone. A little contact there along the blue line at the Wisconsin bench. Now Yaki drops it down with a backhand. 9.05 to play. 5 0 CRC. Flip to the center circle just to Shepard knocks it down. Goes back to his defensive partner. McLaughlin sends it up. Sent right back in. And 
And now McLaughlin banks it off the near boards just as Shepard will send it down. Puck brings around. Tomita comes out, can't slow it down. In the corner, Montague banging and crashing with Magnavite. There again, it's sent down and around here by the chill. Hefty looks up ice and flips it off the glass. High left wing, picked up by Mrose. Mrose with a flip dump to the far corner in the chill end. And McLaughlin got to the puck first, put it into his own near corner. Whalers tap it back behind the chill net, rides along the end wall to the far corner again, touched by the stick of Colton Wright. Oh, behind the net, a whistle's blown as we got a Whalers skater to a knee. This one might go up against the chill here at 8-11 left to play here in the third period. It'll be a chill penalty, and it'll be just a Shepard going to the box. That's his third penalty, I do believe, of this game. Two-minute checking from behind penalty on number five of the Cooley Region Chill, Guy de Shepard. 11.49 of the third period. Guy is in the All-City Speed Camp penalty box for a Cooley Region Chill penalty kill. Face off at the far circle, won by the chill. They have it behind their own net and clear it down all the way. Tomita comes out of the net, plays it off the near corner board, taken off the wall by Hefty. Hefty gets it back. Now right wing as it bounces off the wall, sends it past Lowson and down to the end boards. Tuned to Shepard, tries it clear. Hansen that blocks it and keeps it in. Hansen now. Sends it down off the near corner board. 128 left on the power play for the Whalers. They're over. Now the chill speeding up the left wing. Look at Magnavite trying to blow around the fence. He'll go one over the goaltender back in. No, he can't pull the trigger on it. And they put it right on a stick of Bishop as he takes it into the attack zone, but everybody was back in the other end. There's a one-timer whiff by Grobstick. Now oh, it bounces off the near boards. Grab stick, shovels it back to Hefty. Hefty from the near point, walks it in, and sends it for the one-timer, and Hansen fired it wide. Here again, back to Hefty. Towards the net with a screen, and a kick save made by Devin Nadow. Stop 19 of 19. 6.53 left here in the third. Hefty, right wing dish, bounces off the wall. Into the zone they come, that's Ruta. Ruta behind the net. Broken up by the chill defense, but not out of the zone yet. Now they pick it up with a little bit of space. Here they come on the attack. Up ice on the kill, two on one. From an air circle, fun to do! And it was just tipped off the glove as he tried the toe drag in front. Kessler will send it left wing to grab stick. Touch pass to Hansen. Hansen sends it towards the net, bouncing puck wide right. And it's right in the corner. Sent to the high slot shot with a screen blocked in front. Never got to the goaltender, Nadal. The Cooley Region Chill are at full strength. Full strength for the chill as you hear. Puck tapped to the blue line. Wisconsin pass stolen by Fondadeus. A strong night for Flavian. Now here's Akervic getting poked from behind. Nice touch pass here to Schultz. In right wing, no, he has to walk the line. Now he puts it on target. Into the zone comes Zukowski. He left it for a trailer. Oh, a head tackle right there, penalty. Oh, and Akrovic wants no point. He wants to get into it. Akrovic with a couple of right hands. Now it's a bit of a wrestling match as Akrovic has his, oh, an uppercut Akrovic. He's jacking him with a right hand. And Akrovic now gets hit over the top of the head. Here they want to go a little further. No, they call it off. He wants no more of it. Akervik wins this one big time. Aslan Akervik defends his teammate who was hit with a cheap shot. And a great job by Akervik to defend his teammate. He wins that brawl with Jack Royer. Of course, that will end his night, but he did it before the five minute mark. That's what you like to see in defense of a teammate. Akrovic's gotten into a couple of brawls this season. It doesn't happen a lot at these games. Had a friend of mine who's here tonight with a group of six said, you think there'll be any fights tonight? I said, I don't know. We had a little bit of something last night. This was much better.
And hopefully, Cole Richter was on that with the camera. Did you get it? Did you see it, Johnny? Okay, Johnny, you got it. Okay, good deal. Offsetting penalties on both the Cooley Region Chill and the Wisconsin right. Whalers. Number 17 of the Cooley Region Chill has an acrobic with a five minute penalty and an ejection for fighting. Also a five minute fighting penalty and an ejection for number 19 of the Wisconsin Whalers, Jack Royer. 14-26 of the third period. Again, five minute fighting penalties along with a game ejection for both number 19 of the Wisconsin Whalers and number 17 of the Cooley Region Chill. Wow, that was a cheap shot indeed, and I'm glad Ackerman did what he did. So they sorted that stuff out, 534 left. Good to get it in before that five minutes remaining in the third period, it was close. <laughs> and it wasn't planned, it's not like these guys talked about it. But what I did see is Royer say no mas. Akervik was poised with his fisticuff stance, did you see that? Same two teams tomorrow should be interesting. Super Bowl Sunday, we'll get you going before the Super Bowl. 11.30 puck drop, Whalers, chill, game two of the weekend series. Chill hoping to end this Whalers three game winning streak and continue theirs at seven. They win the draw to Lindauer off the wall. Chip to Magnavite in front, Ratzloff looking for the hat trick. Oh, an open net for Magnavite and he didn't get it. Now the Whalers back the other way. Schwartzmiller tried to center, tipped by the stick of DeShepper. There's one sent from the left point, blocked by the chill in front, and sent softly towards the net, Tomida. Well, touch it with the paddle. Montague. And off Grob Stick's stick, and right to Nadeau, who sent it to the far boards. Chill working off the Far wall, and now up right wing to center. Pass was picked off, but then picked up by DeShepper as he busts up the slot, and Tomita will cover it up. Oh, DeShepper with a stick after the goaltender was down, and uh, he's gonna get hit there, and the Whalers take exception, and with reason, but now DeShepper dropped like a sack of potatoes in the corner, looking for a penalty, and Grobstick is laughing about it, and I gotta say, there, the Shepard, he got hit, but he dropped like a sack of potatoes. That was not, I think that was an acting job. You can get a penalty for embellishing. Toon has a word with Gross. Toon still talking. He was directing his comments at Gross. Don't forget, chill fans, stick around for our three stars. He did tap the goaltender who was down in the prone position. So as much as I love Toon, he was at fault there. And I think if he was to see it again, he'd see how it looked from our end. See, we overlooked the goaltender, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the goaltender Tamita. And he was definitely down on top of that puck. And then as Toon was coming towards him, he tried to poke him and he just can't do that. And that's gonna do it for Toon to Shepper. He's getting a escort. The game in hand, five. Two minute slashing penalty on number 14 of the Cooley Region Chill, Toon to Shepper. Also a two minute roughing penalty on number 23 of the Wisconsin Whalers, Carter Grobstick and a 10 minute misconduct penalty on number 14 of the Cooley Region Chill, tuned to Shepard. And that's for words being used, I do believe. That's what it uh, kind of appeared to be. So, the rivalry between the Wisconsin Whalers and Cooley Region Chill is still alive. There's still no love between these two teams. Year after year, they would meet each other in the first round of the playoffs. It 
It has to stack up well for the Whalers to get a fourth spot. They do have an opportunity. They do have Evansville and Wausau still on their schedule. Here's Kessler taking the puck up center. Bouncing puck at the blue line. Hefty quickly dishes it right wing. And it came off Morose's stick towards the net it goes and just knocked away in front. Quick turnaround, easy save made by Devin Nadal off the stick of Stefan Ruta. Don't forget fans, another home game tomorrow here at Green Island Knights Arena. Get a game in before the Super Bowl. Stop by, watch the game starting at 11.30 and then head home and enjoy yourself. Can we say game. Super Bowl, Brian Simpson, or do we get sued for saying Super Bowl? CRChill.com. On radio, you're not allowed to say Super Bowl. I'm not on radio, though. So we just said it about three or four times. Super Bowl. Puck comes behind the net. Chill trying to find a way out. Dished ahead to the neutral zone. Dump in. Off the left wing wall. And they're going to bring that puck back into the chill end. Well, the Iceberg Fan Deck fans getting a little bit more vocal now. They got woken up by all those goals in a fight. I wonder if that would have gotten the ladies from last night's Milwaukee game to pay attention. <laughs> the Iceberg Fan Deck was packed with uh, about six ladies that sat at a table and talked for the entire game. Sure, they're super nice ladies. They did look at the game a couple times. And it's pushed towards the net. They now directs it wide in the corner. Fed back near point. Montague drops it right back down the near boards. Out of the corner. Hansen to Montague. Montague whips it right. There's a shot on net stick save and a rebound. Knocked all the way back down the Wisconsin end. 3-17 left here in the third. 5-0 Cooley region chill. Brock Sukowski tips off the stick of Yankee and all the way down. Tomita with a backhand push off the far corner. Kessler and Zukowski greet each other along the fireboards. Picked up by Tillman, poke checked away by Hansen. And then Tillman slaps it down off the near corner. Montague banks it off the right wing wall. And it's flipped up off the end boards, far side, picked up by the Whalers. Behind the net, Montague. Held in by the chill, there's McLaughlin, his shot goes wide. Kessler sent back behind the Wisconsin net, Montague into the neutral zone off the right wing wall. And the chill dump it right back in. They'll finish off a change as the puck comes into the Wisconsin end. Montague sending it up to Hansen, runs into two chill skaters, taken away here by Magnavite. Mags to the slot, broken up by Hansen. Hansen flips it down, gets off for a change himself. Right deep into the corner, takes a hit from McLaughlin. And it was Ruta battling for the puck, taken away by the chill. And they have their pocket pick sent back in. McLaughlin, 150 left, third period, 5 0 chill. Yes, a nice stretch to Magnavite, waiting for some guys to come into the zone with him. And chipped it off to Ratzlaw. Rats into the corner to Lindauer. Sent it behind the net, Magnavite. Taken away by Hefty, but poke checked by Lindauer. Picked up in the neutral zone with a chill. Back and forth passing they go, Lindauer. Of course, no tune to Shepard out there right now. Kicked into the zone on Lozen. Sent it back, then it's an interception here as Moros misses the Ruta, and that'll be an icing on the Whalers. 118 left here in the third period. 5 0. C. RC. All the goals scored here in the third. Once again, fans, make sure you stick around for our three stars of the game. They'll be out shortly after the conclusion of tonight's game. Ratzloff with two. Flavian Fondadouz with two. And Thomas Magnavite with one. That shot by Lawson. Didn't make it all the way to the net. Hit a couple of bodies in front. Now it's Joey Wachek. Left it there for Lozen. Ruta couldn't clear. Here's Kiss Matulin. 
Cadell towards the net. Oh, disrupted by the stick of Tillman. He wanted a redirect, but it went wide of the net instead. There again, put to the near circle. Wide check, fed back to the point. That shot hit the top of the stick of Tamita, I think, off the stick of Kaplis. Here's Lozen. Get some space and a padded away save with a blocker by Tamita. He flinched as it came towards him, but he made the stop. And a whistle here as the puck came back into the neutral zone. An elbow, it looks like. Referee Caroselli going to escort a chill skate to the box. That's going to be Marcus Tillman. Shots are 49 to 20, CRC. Two minute head contact, penalty on number 21 of the Cooley Region Chill, Marcus Tillman. Marcus is in the All City Speed Camp penalty box for a Cooley Region Chill penalty kill. Three stars of the game coming up. Stick around, we'll have an interview with the number one star of the game. Whalers got the puck off the draw as they try to get it to the slot, but the Chill gonna take it the other direction. Up ice comes Lindauer, sends it to Magnavite. Magnavite gets shoved, Lindauer comes in to help. He's got it pinned up against the corner board. Now it's Lindauer with a chance. He'll put it on net and the save is made by Tomita. Getting a whistle with just 15 seconds left. Chill on the penalty kill, but on the attack. It's just that kind of night. It's the way they've been playing. And it looks like they're gonna pick up their seventh win in a row. And continuing their trend, they came into tonight with Outscoring their opponents in the last six games, 81 to five. So here tonight, it's five nothing. Here's Hanson with the puck as he takes it up the left side. Hanson cuts towards center. Now Hanson dangles right wing, got a broken twig at the neutral zone and maybe it didn't break. It just looked like it was broken, but that's an old guy's vision from one end of the ice to the other. Two seconds left here on the clock and then the chill can celebrate their seventh win in a row. That'll do it. Final score of tonight's game, the, the Cooley Region Chill. Cooley Region Chill victorious up. here in front of the home fans at seven wins in a row, and the record improves to 25-7, one and one. Three stars of the game and an interview with the number one star that's coming up next year on the Cooley Region Sports Network and Hockey TV. Hi, I'm Zach. I'm an Ultra member, and this is my story. When I moved away for college, I thought I would have to find a different financial. But with Ultra's mobile app, ATM networking, and shared branching, I didn't need to. I can take Ultra with me wherever I go. Ultra's mobile and online banking makes it easier than ever to manage your accounts from anywhere, anytime. Visit Ultra.org today or stop in at Ultra Federal Credit Union in La Crosse, on Alaska.